Hi, I'm Dr. Nicole Vane of Moonlight Beach Channel. I'm doing a video series on all the amazing things I love about my new Photona um, Erbium MDI Glazer. So you can watch some of the other ones about what I can do with removing decay under the bone. Um, but what I was talking about that's really cool about this handpiece is that it uses photon energy that's attracted towards hydroxyapatite in tooth structure or in bone, so we're able to do surgery without using a scalpel. This will actually just ablate and vaporize the areas where we need to treat. So if there's a cavity that goes into the bone, I can use this, which is just the same width as a periodontal probe, and move the bone down a little bit so I can get a better seal. But what's really awesome is here at Moonlight Beach Dental, I love doing cosmetic work, and I love doing Invisalign. And a lot of times, if people have wear, as you wear the tooth down on the edge, the tooth super erupts and grows back down into position. So the main common concern patients have is that my gum levels look uneven or my teeth look really short. So I just want to show you a couple pictures of how I use the laser to move the bone and therefore the gum up. If we use just the laser that cuts the gum, if there's not enough distance to where the bone is, we need about three millimeters, two and a half at the smallest, or else the tissue that we vaporized off is just going to grow back and over the tooth. So what signals where the tissue needs to be is where the bone is. So if you picture people where they say you're getting long in the tooth, where older people have all this gum recession and they, all these spaces in between their teeth, that's because they've usually lost a lot of bone and the gum follows the bone. But I can use this technology in a cool way to get great cosmetic results. Let me show you a few photos. So on this picture, she's actually a friend of mine. You can see when I zoom in on her, her smile photo that she had some misalignment of her teeth. Beautiful girl. But that you really saw too much gum here. And if you look closer, you can see how this tooth is a lot longer than this tooth. And this tooth is longer than this one. And if you zoom out, None of these teeth are really on the same plane. So we first did Invisalign and I straightened the teeth. But afterward, what I did was lengthen her gum line. Look at that, it looks like she has veneers. Because you don't see that asymmetry anymore, because all the gum lines are the same, I actually just did, to tell you my secrets, a little bit of bonding on one of the edges where she'd worn the tooth. That's it, so no numbing needed, no drilling. I used the laser and I scalloped around these areas and I lengthen the tooth, or the, the virtual appearance of the tooth. On another case that I did, let me show you here. This patient came to me, and I was her fifth consult, because she's only 25 years old, and she has very short, worn teeth. And what you can't see is that a lot of her enamel's gone from all the grinding, so her teeth were very sensitive. And if you look here, actually, let me go in a little closer, you can see this tooth is shorter than this one. This tooth is shorter than that one. What happened was, is when you grind, she ground a lot towards one side. So every dentist said, you've ground your teeth, I'm going to lengthen your teeth. Now, if you look at her smile, why would we want longer teeth with a really gummy smile? So I was the only doctor that had talked to her about leveling out all the gum lines, and then we ended up doing a really conservative treatment of six veneers to restore her enamel. So again, this is what it looked like. This is what she's looked like now. Let me show you. If you look, it's an incredible difference. We didn't have to drill her teeth down much for her veneer. All of her gum lines follow her teeth now. We, we lengthen the teeth just very little back to where they would have been. And then if you look, this is close up the same day as surgery. Look at that. Her tissue is perfectly healthy. There's no bleeding. There's nothing inflamed. Her gums went up to where they had wanted to be had she not worn her teeth. So those are two cases I wanted to share with you because it's really exciting to me that we can do such conservative dentistry. And then also we can really trick the eye with these amazing things like vaporizing the gum tissue and having really symmetric gums. It also works really well for people with gummy smiles where maybe they need nothing done to their teeth other than to just have their teeth look a little bit longer. 
There's something called delayed passive eruption, which means that once a tooth erupts and hits the tooth that's opposing it, the tooth will just stop erupting. And depending on the tooth's position, if a tooth is positioned further forward, the gum is going to hang down more over the tooth. So people have a shorter appearance of their tooth, and on some people, depending on their lip mobility, they're gonna show a lot of the gum here. So all we do is we use a laser, we raise the gum line up to expose more tooth, and you end up with a lot fuller looking, less gummy smile. So I hope you find this as interesting and fascinating as I do, and you're welcome to come in for a consult anytime if you come in for an exam, and we can talk about how the laser might work for you.